Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is a token ring network and how it works. Token ring was developed in the early 1980s by IBM for local area network or LAN. It was in direct competition with Ethernet. During the 80s and 90s, there was a great debate about which technology should be used for LAN or LANs. We all know now Ethernet won. However, it's still interesting to know token ring and how it works to understand better why Ethernet has become the local area network standards. In a token ring network, all hosts or workstations are connected in a ring topology. The token, an empty frame, is continuously circulated on the ring. An empty token has only three fields: start delimiter, access control, and end delimiter. The token is like a taxi moving on a loop in a neighborhood. If a workstation doesn't have anything to transmit, it passes the token along. If it does has something to transmit, it catches the token and attaches the data and sends it back to the ring. Let's use an example to demonstrate how it works. Suppose workstation A has a message to send to workstation B. It catches the passing token. And attaches its data, and adds header information such as frame control, destination address, source address, FCS, and frame status. Now the empty token becomes a data or command frame. The token is released back to the ring, and then examined by each successive workstation, which checks the destination address. Against their own address, and they pass it along if they do not match. When the data frame reaches the destination, workstation B copies the frame, changes frame status, and then releases the token back to the network. Frame status provides confirmation that the message has been delivered successfully. It is like raising a flag, telling others data is already delivered and copied. When the token gets back to the sender, workstation A removes the message from the token and then releases a new empty token back to the network. The token becomes available again, ready to take next message. In a token ring network. The media access method is called token passing. When a workstation wants to transmit data, it should hold the token until it is done. If any other hosts want to send data, they should wait. Compared with the Ethernet, token ring has some better features, such as one. Token passing access method won't cause collisions as Ethernet will. Two, token ring allows for large frame size than Ethernet. Three, its speed was even faster than Ethernet when the token ring was introduced. But why token ring failed? There might be many reasons, but one of the great factors I believe was they were too expensive. IBM charged five to six times as much as Ethernet for their technology and their equipments.